Join me today as I try to answer a few Gen Con questions that I've gotten recently. Welcome to the Geek Cabal channel. My name is Bob, and today we're going to try to cover some Gen Con questions that I've received recently uh, in response, I believe, to the uh, January Gen Con video where I mentioned, you know, registration dates and things like that. Uh, okay, so the questions I've gotten uh, kind of center around like the events and uh, like must do things, what order should do we should do things in, stuff like that. So I'm going to try to kind of generalize here and hopefully catch all their, I've responded to them in text, but you know, let's go ahead and make a video out of it because this is YouTube, so why not? Uh, okay, so in general, anything at all, I'm recording this in March 2024. So anything event-wise, the event list does not come out until May. Uh, assuming historical precedent is carried through, plus I think they actually have a date on their website right now, which I think is, just off the top of my head, I think is May 8th, but I could be wrong on the exact date, I just know that it's in May. Now, if years pass or any indication, there's a week, possibly two weeks, but I believe it's a week, between when they released the list of events and when you actually try to sign up for the events. So I can't tell you anything about specific events because the event list isn't out yet. Uh, I will tell you that the past few years, the way it's worked is there's a wish list feature and, and I will try to do a video once the, uh, once the event list is up so I can show you how to actually do this, but uh, I'm just going to give you a verbal description here. So there's a wish list feature. You wish list your events that you want. I believe you have a way of ranking them. Uh, but I could be mistaken on that. I, I think you do, but I'm not 100% certain in terms of your order of importance. Now, the uh, event registration will open on a Sunday at noon, again, if historical precedence is followed. And what will happen is the absolute moment that opens, you want to hit the button that says fulfill my wish list or, or however it's worded. And you and 50,000 other people are going to all of a sudden overwhelm a computer somewhere that's going to try to assign everyone the most events of their wish list that they can get in an order that they can get them. So, I am going to speculate now because I don't know for sure if this is accurate. So this is speculation because I've never tested it and I don't recall if I've seen any comments to this effect, but given how quickly certain things happen, I am forced to assume this is likely the case. If there is one event that you want above all others, then don't even screw with any other events. Just put that one event in and hammer that button. So it's only trying to sort you into that one event. Okay? You, It's not going to try to take you down 10,000 different paths. It's either that event or nothing. So keep that in mind. That could be terrible advice, but... I believe that is the case. Uh, I've never had just one event I wanted to go to though, and we've only been doing this for the past couple years, so I don't know what to tell you. Uh, one other note, on that date, that will not be all of the total events. That'll be about 75% of them. Others will filter in later. It's just that is the one time that we know for sure when this bulk lot of events will pop up. The others will just spring in at random times and days over the two months leading up to the convention. Well, almost three months leading up to the convention. So if what you're looking, if you know something you're looking for is going to be there and it's not on the list yet, it will be. So just keep an eye out. Now, some things that will sell out almost instantly, again, if historical precedence is to be followed. Uh, True Dungeon sells out very quickly. Uh, the past couple years, well, last year we got an okay because I only had to deal with that event and it was just me and one other friend. Uh, but two years ago, we had to work around a bunch of other events trying to figure out an optimal time and it, it got really screwy. So if you know you want to do True Dungeon, focus on that, okay? Um, 
the costume contest is something that does sell out. Now they're free tickets, but they have to give you a ticket. So there's a limited number. It does sell out. That's usually not a day one sellout though, but it is a sells out quicker than you think. So I'm not going to say you shouldn't try to focus on that on day one, but you, you do want to focus on it. Just you probably, you probably have a couple days. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to say that and like, it's going to sell out like that now, but hopefully you get what I'm saying here. Uh, other than that, usually the things that sell out super quick are if there's some, some new hotness coming out and they have events related to it, that'll sell it quick. Like, uh, I, I don't know if Lorcana actually had events last year or not. I don't remember off the top of my head. I wasn't interested. I don't play the game. Um, so other than that, I mean, some D and D events go pretty quick. Sometimes the, uh, seminars don't go super fast but some of them will fill up uh, this is generally not a celebrity convention so you don't have to worry about like trying to get celebrity autograph times or anything like that usually there's occasional exceptions like one year Nichelle Nichols was there signing copies of Star Trek Settlers of Catan and uh, but that wasn't like ticketed you just walked up and had her sign it she was there at the booth so um, so keep an eye out for that, uh, if that's your if that's your thing. Then, uh, other than that, you just want to see like if there's only one instance of an event, and it's got a limited number of seats, you probably want to try to get in on that day one, just in case. Uh, yeah, that's that's my main advice on events. Uh, again, we'll try. We'll do a video much closer, so in about two months, once we actually see the event list, and uh, yeah, we'll take a look at things then. So that's it on events. Now, uh, I've also been asked like, what are must do things, must have things? Like, uh, like this one person asked, they're going to be there Thursday. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be there the rest of the time. So Thursday, like the. First of all, the dealer's hall does not open until 10. That's the official opening of Gen Con. There are events before that. Uh, I've been to an event on Thursday at like 9 in the morning. They don't get much earlier. I think there might be some at 8. Uh, technically, Gen Con is open on Wednesday, but it's a trade day and educators and things like that. That's not a normal convention day. So, uh, Thursday, well, on Wednesday, if you're going to be in town on Wednesday... They do have the block party, uh, there's music, drinks, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you're picking things up at will call, I highly recommend you trying to get them Wednesday and don't wait in line on Thursday. It'll be a long line on Wednesday, but you should deal with that instead of burning precious convention time Thursday. And then afterwards, go out and listen to the music and drink or something. Uh, but that's mainly it for Wednesday as far as I know. Then Thursday, like I said, there's the opening, which at one of the big main entrances, they'll do, you know, some, oh, it's time to open Gen Con, and might roll a giant oversized D20 or something. And that'll all happen in the minutes leading up to 10 a.m., then they open the doors and tell everyone not to run, and you'll be able to see people inside clearly running, that no one's stopping, even though they just swore up and down, they're going to stop you if you run. They're, they're, they're hypocrites or something, I don't know. Don't listen to them. Don't run, but be prepared for idiots that will um as far as that goes now this ties into one other question someone asked me uh about freebies now we don't know what freebies are going to be there this year it's too far out for that uh in general the coupon book will get you a free die at the crystal cast booth and in several years past the company that makes uh boss monster does free promo cards and you need a coupon for that so get the coupon book if possible, get that Wednesday. Otherwise, get there early enough to get it Thursday morning. Uh, so you get your free Crystal Cast dice, die. And uh, if you want to buy the whole set, you can. I think the coupon's also good for a discount on that. Uh, it comes in a 10 and everything. Don't know what coloration that's going to be yet this year. That's always a surprise when we get there. Uh, now this year, unless I'm mistaken, this is the 55th anniversary. So there could be some 55th anniversary stuff. There was 50th anniversary stuff a few years ago. And, you know, some of that 
they weren't free you know you had to buy them but only a handful of people were actually officially licensed to do that kind of stuff and those things definitely have some value now they had extreme value then and i believe it's still a value now so if that's if that's your goal on the freebies bear that in mind uh past success is no guarantee to future success and all that but you know just something to think about so uh let's see you also have uh Well, other than that, I would just highly recommend you keeping your eyes out for whatever you're into. Like, I'm into Battletech. That's a this fine Battletech shirt here. Didn't clue you in. Of course, if you don't play Battletech, you don't have the slightest clue what the hell that is. But anyway, uh, so Catalyst every year brings some stuff that sells out day one. So I make a beeline for the Catalyst booth because they've always got something I want that I want now. And uh, two years ago, Chad and I got the Battletech Alpha Strike box set. They sold out within like an hour or two. And uh, our highest rated video on this channel is the unboxing of that because we were like the one of the first people to get one out unboxed and everything. And uh, yeah, also it's an amazing box set. So, you know, Catalyst, I hit them up and that's where I go. I am for them. Uh, WizKids also brings promos. Now they've gone to like a lottery system. Uh, but you might still want to get there for tickets to said lottery, uh, but the actual purchasing will be later. So, you know, you want to you want to check out the companies that make whatever it is you're interested in. Like if you like, if you think if you're in the Settlers of Catan, I think Asmodee makes that now. So check out their website, see if they're giving away anything at Gen Con or any kind of purchase gift. If there's anything like that, that's where you want to go first. Because typically these companies don't just bring mountains of promos. You know, typically, I mean, unless it's like a card or something that they can fit, obviously, several boxes of them very easily. If it's anything physical, they won't have a lot of them. Uh, if you look in the coupon book, usually someone's like, oh, the first 100 people get a miniature. That first 100 people is going to get there a lot faster than you think they are. So, with all that in mind, if you're concerned about these kinds of things... Before the show, on the Gen Con website, there will be a map of the dealer's hall. And again, I, we'll try to cover this in another video once we're closer, because it's not up yet. And that map will show you, it'll have down at the bottom, it'll have the list of all the people, and it'll tell you what their booth numbers are. Now, thankfully, the list of people is alphabetical and not numerical by booth number. That would be a nightmare. Uh, but it's alphabetical, so you find them, find their booth number, then you figure out which entrance is closest to them and that's where you want to line up in the morning to get there as quick as possible again don't run so uh okay so with other like for the other days other must-see events i mean i don't know about must-see i'll just tell you what i like um i don't think there's anything in particular on friday saturday has three events uh, depending on your outlook and what you like to do, there is the costume contest. Oh, there's a costume parade before the costume contest. But you, if you're going to watch the parade, you need to be towards the beginning of it so you can get to the room with the contest because the parade, most of those people aren't in the contest. So the contest starts as the parade is ending and you need to get there to get a seat. So you want to be towards the beginning and then leave and go to where the, uh, I think it's the 500 ballroom, go there to the costume contest. So that's one thing that happens on Saturday. Uh, there is the dance over at Union, Union Station, I believe. Um, if you're into, if you're into dancing, partying, music, drinks, it's all there. Uh, it's also some people playing Vampire the Masquerade upstairs. Uh, if you're into that uh, also the dance floor the above there's like a rail if you just want to people watch for whatever you know you can do that too uh, so that's on saturday and then there is the card holla which if you look back through our videos i'll try to link one here somewhere if you look back through our videos you can see what i'm talking about it's where people build a bunch of stuff out of donated trading cards and then over the from starting on thursday to saturday evening then saturday at i think 10 o'clock People throw a spare change at it to destroy it, and they collect all the spare change and donate it to uh, charity. 
There's also the opening bid. That's where a lot of the money comes from. Is the go is the opening bid to see who's going to throw first? Uh, that can definitely be entertaining. Uh, I think I've got a video from one year. It's fairly short. Uh, not the greatest quality, unfortunately, because I had an older phone. And uh, it's and it's kind of late at night. So and you'll have to you'll have to leave the dance to go to this. So those are things that are all happening on Saturday. Uh, Sunday doesn't really have like like must have events now Sunday is when like a lot of the no, I'm not gonna say a lot that's when a number of companies do giveaways like throughout the show they're like oh do this and you get a ticket for the raffle do this you get a ticket for this do this you get a ticket for that <clears throat> like uh, Dun like uh, Goodman Games Dungeon Crawl Classics their booth if you buy anything you get a raffle ticket and each time you buy something you get raffle tickets and then Sunday is the raffle and uh, I didn't win anything last year, but the year before I did win something, so it's it's definitely possible. Um, and they give away a lot of a lot of a lot of cool stuff there. So if you're at all interested in them, pick up something throughout the throughout the four days, get your ticket, then go over there on Sunday. Also check out the Wizard Band. So yeah, I don't really know if there's any like must do things other than that. Again, that's going to come down entirely to personal preference. Um, I don't know that there's, I mean, there, there are other like known things that happen. Uh, I think Hickman's killer breakfast is still a thing. Never went to it, but it seems to be popular. Um, then, uh, there used to be some things like kind of outside the con that people would go to, but some of those places closed during the COVID times. Um, yeah. Other than that, like that's those are the big things. Now, as we get closer, something else might emerge. Uh, some years there are concerts. One year there was a concert that we, uh, that myself and Chad, who is also here on the channel, and Chris, who I've mentioned, uh, we all went to it. So that's uh, it's a possibility that'll spring up. Occasionally, the movie theater there downtown in the in the Circle Center Mall or on older movies. I watched Conan the Barbarian there one year. Uh, so that they, they don't really advertise for that that just kind of happens so you'll need to check the theater listings around that point uh the year that it was in the off month like later in this september october uh for some reason ghost in the shell was playing at the giant imax at the uh at the indiana state museum we went to go watch it nothing all to do with gen con like that was it was just playing there and uh, that's another thing that's right near downtown, so near where you're going to be staying is the giant. It's a, it's a true IMAX. It's an 80-foot tall screen. Um, I've seen a few movies on it. saw Rogue One there. It's pretty spectacular. Might go watch Dune 2 there if I get the chance. So uh, whatever's playing there might be worth your while to go check out. Uh, but yeah, and occasionally there's other like actual concerts outside of Gen Con and ball games, things like that going on. Won't really know until we're closer on that one. Uh, but yeah, so that's about all I can think of for advice at this point. So the main thing is know which days you're going to go, be ready for the event list, start looking at the websites and, and social media of any companies whose products you like. Uh, if we get to like June or July and you know they're attending, but they haven't said anything about promos or anything, uh, you know, I'd reach out to them. Maybe they're going to have it. They just haven't announced it. Uh, maybe they don't plan on announcing it, but they're going to have them. So, because you don't want to be blindsided. You don't want to be there and be like, get to their booth like on Friday morning and, oh, yeah, we had a promos that we never talked about or warned anyone about. We only brought five. We gave them all out yesterday. Sorry, sucks to be you. Glad you wasted your time coming halfway across the country. Don't let that be you, okay, on the receiving end of that. And, and don't be that on the giving end either. That's just being a jackass. Uh, so, yeah. You know, that's that's my pre-event list advice for now. Keep an eye on our channel. We'll try to update as things come in. Uh, keep an eye on the Gen Con website. Uh, there's also a Fans of Gen Con Facebook page. You'll see a lot of stuff there. Those people know a lot about everything else in Indianapolis. I think the main guy that runs it is from Indianapolis. So uh, check those places out. Check our past videos for general information. Uh, but otherwise, you know, hit me up in the questions. If you hit me up in the comments, if you got any more questions, I'll try to answer them. Try to answer them there, and if necessary, make a video like this. 
Uh, but otherwise, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And, uh, you know, last year we met one of our fans at Gen Con. So if any of you guys actually want to meet up, let us know. And we'll try to work something out. I mean, you know, we're going to be doing stuff too and everything. But, you know, we always like to meet everybody. So maybe, uh, maybe we'll work something out and go to dinner somewhere or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, like I said, let me know about all that. Otherwise, see you folks at Gen Con.